you know, most of the guys out here are working pretty hard from a golf perspective for sure. And I think Nate puts in his time doing that too. I think uh, maybe this small difference might be academically trying to put the time in to do that as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of the fact that I'm a Trans-American Junior All-American. It's a great honor The you know, it's not easy to do to be able to be a successful golfer and be able to keep up with the academic side of school too. Wake up early, go to school, um, go straight to, from school to the golf course, practice till dark, come home, maybe take a quick shower, eat and do homework and then go to bed. And you know, it's tough that, you know, sometimes you have to give up doing other things with friends and that kind of thing. But you know, it's something that I'm really proud of that I can do and be able to show that, you know, I have the mental ability to do all that stuff and just kind of keep going. I mean, obviously it's a great honor for him to receive that, be part of the Transamerica Scholastic All-American team. So that's not something that all, a lot of kids are going to get. There's only 12 boys, I think, a year that get it. So I think it's a, a testament to what he's done both on and off the golf course and the work he's put in for both in both those respects. I was never really pushed to, you know, I have to be a good student or anything like that. It's just kind of a lot of it came naturally to me and I wanted to, I know I have certain goals for myself in life and so it was kind of on my own that I wanted to be able to work hard and, you know, pursue my academics and hopefully that'll lead to success later in life. Just by playing these events and getting to play in some of the bigger tournaments and invitationals and that kind of stuff, it really opened the door to all college coaches, not necessarily even Stanford, but to be able to play in front of coaches like that, it really gave myself, gave me a chance to show what I could do, and without the AJGA, I wouldn't have the opportunities that I do now.